This is Ukulele. We're on Xbox Series X taking a look at this adorable and fun platformer. What we're getting here is 1080p 30fps with auto HDR support that I think adds a really nice sort of glow and look aesthetic to the game. So if you're not familiar with Ukulele, it really is quite a lovely and just mostly fun 3D platformer. What you're doing is battling through these different areas, gathering collectibles, finding things, and, you know, basically platforming. I've got apparently like nine hours into this, and, you know, in some regard I was a little bit disappointed that the game kind of locks you out to a degree towards some of the ending stuff based on how many collectibles you've gathered. But for the most part, I actually had a really lovely time with this. There's a lot you can do, and a lot of things you can collect along the way and a wide range of different moves you can unleash, different places you can go, portals to different areas. There's some fun like arcade type things in the actual like main menu that you can play locally. It's kind of a really cool game between two awesome characters. And what's also really interesting is that there is, I don't know if you would call it a spin-off or a sequel, but there is actually a follow-up that does something entirely different. It has uh, a 2D element to it. So that's the end, the impossible lair, and that is a 2D kind of version. It's not the same game, it's different levels, it's different challenges, but you know, it's, it's the same two characters, just in a different perspective. And that one's really cool too. I actually like both of the games for their different styles. So for me, I've always been more into, you know, the 3D platformer type of thing. That's more my game than it is like a, you know, say a 2D platformer. Now, with that, I do actually quite appreciate both versions of it because I really like these characters, I like the charm of this experience, and I think this is a very fun game to play. I, I think it's quite cool. And it's got these really neat kind of hub worlds that you sort of go through, and then you go to these different page areas in order to, you know, kind of unlock the different pages and discover the hidden secrets and, you know, everything like that. And like I said, it's a really, really cool game. I, I quite like this series. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's got some really neat challenges to it in different areas and different ways to play. And they mix up the platforming quite a bit. And even though you might not necessarily be able to gather like all of the collectibles, you can have a lot of fun working through it. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of guides out there at this point that can help you with it. It's just kind of a really you know, neat sort of experience is the biggest thing I'm trying to say, is it's a lot of fun to play, and it's really, really quite cool. And I've spent, you know, as, like I said, I've got like nine hours apparently on this one, which is kind of crazy, and there's still more you can do. There's still other challenges, different places to explore, uh, different things to tackle. I remember there being a really cool casino area. I like the initial sort of, you know, temple-type place that you can visit. There, there's a lot of different spots that you can, you know, basically take in and, and deal with. And I think it's really cool, the, the world they've created here. It's, it's a lot of fun. And I think as, you know, sort of being that 3D platformer type thing, it, it does a pretty good job of providing something expansive that you can spend a lot of time on. Oh, and then you got these tonics so you can kind of unlock and then use these special sort of tools and stuff to battle. Uh, your enemies or just have like a different variable to the actual gameplay that you're experiencing in this one And it really is just kind of you know awesome It's a really fun game uh, there, There's so many different things you can do and like activities and challenges and missions I'm just trying to find like a decent mission to kind of show off here as we go through the, the main hub area Let's let's just do this one. I guess Well into the page book but yeah, I really would like a follow-up 3D, another 3D ukulele game. Because I really do like these characters, I really do think it's a fun sort of thing. Uh, I believe some of the story is the folks wanted to do like a new banjo, and then they kind of went off and they did their own thing, and, and that's how we've gotten uh, ukulele. Now I imagine with the fact that, uh, you know, the 2D one was quite popular and, and very, very well received, even past this one, might make them kind of go in that direction again. Uh, I, I, again, like, I really would love to see another 3D entry. Or even, you know, seeing this one maybe get, like, an FPS boost or some sort of resolution increase. Like, it looks fine visually. It is a little jagged in some spots. But I'm just thinking you could clean this game up and it would look really, really sharp, really, really good. 
and it would be a lot of fun. Hey, look, there's the Shovel Knight. Oh, uh, well, kind of fun, right? But yeah, this this is kind of a cool little game, and it's something maybe I should have you know even checked out a bit earlier because I, I really do like it. It's these two, like, these characters are kind of fun, it, it's a little silly. This is the world I really wanted to show off, because I think this is one of the main ones. But in these, like, hub areas, you know, there's, like, different things you can do, like a little minigame type stuff, and, and main, like, objectives and things. But it's just kind of a really cool, you know, almost throwback type of platforming experience, I guess, the 3D platforming. And I just really would like to see more games like this these days you know we, we do get some options but uh, yeah I don't know I, I'd like even more in this this genre we get so many 2d platformers so it would kind of be exciting to see more oh, see more of the the 3d type right uh, there's one called like pumpkin jack I really like that game too if you're looking for more of a, a grimmer sort of uh, platforming and battling game that's kind of like this, but a little bit different. I just wanted to mention that one too, because you know, I got to thinking about it, being here uh, playing this one. But yeah, you've got these these two in combination. Really? It's like, you gotta go that way? So you got these two in combination. You know, your, your little bat friend, and it kind of helps you do like a glide, as you've been seeing. So you get different elements to how you platform, and I think that's kind of a nice touch too. I mean, I think we've already done all this, but it's kind of fun just to be back here and just kind of show off the game in this way. I think it's a good way to do so. Time to roll! <gasps> the Great Rampo Ancient Angular Stone Bloke! Oh no. And the fun little chat thingy too. I don't know, it's just kind of like a really charming sort of experience. I, I just, I love how it's set up, I, I love the style of it, the look of the game. It, it's really, really quite a bundle of fun. And I mean, it's got some platforming that is, uh, you know, is a little bit harder, I, I suppose you could say, but I think for the most part, uh, you're gonna find this to be quite fun. Ow! <laughs> As I slide all the way down. I can't actually remember how we used to battle against this thing, but I made it up to the top there. I'm probably gonna die. I don't got any butterfly health. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no! We've fallen and we, we're, we're a little tuckered out. We're, we're not dead, it's totally cool. But yeah, you could do all these different things, and oh, these are the collectible thingies over there. I don't know if we can actually jump up. Oh, there we go. Gotta grab the page note things. But yeah, there's there's so many different spots to visit in these hub worlds. The casino one, like I mentioned, I, I should have actually went and shown that off too. But I think this one is kind of like the default go-to ukulele showcase level. It's sort of, sort of like, hey, you know, you remember this spot. And there's different areas, and you know, the loading, it's, it's, it's a little bit faster, which is nice too. And it's just got this really cool throwback type thing, which I find is fun. Oh yeah, I forgot, there's like... D detection things and blah 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 you gotta do it yeah anyways lots of different areas to visit so many different like prompts for things and activities in this world it's just kind of a you know it's a fun 3d platformer is the biggest thing i think it's something that you could have a, a great time playing you know facing off against enemies trying to do your different things having a good time with it, it it's a fairly expansive offering you keep playing, you keep discovering new things. I, I think that's kind of a charming part of it. And you can certainly get your game's value out of it by doing all the, you know, exploring and stuff like that. I think that's kind of intriguing. I think there's like a race you can do too. That's why there's like a hollowed out sort of brown area there. There's like a big ukulele type race you can get involved with. Like I said, there's just, you know, there's a lot in this. There's a lot going on. It knows something is up. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, geez. Oh no! Um, I don't know if we can get back from that one. We're falling to the end of the world! But that's what I'm saying, it's got that like throwback sort of style to it, which is neat. I, I think though, it's, it's basically something that any type of audience can jump in and experience. At the same time, you know, maybe some of the younger ones might need a bit of support in some of the areas. I mean, I found some of them to be a little bit challenging, but, you know, it really does bring me back to, like, an earlier style of the, the 3D platformer, which I think is kind of neat. And I think it's kind of special. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't quite have a whole lot else to say about ukulele other than the fact that, you know, give it a whirl. You, you might like it if you're into the 3D platformer thing. I think, is the race over here? 
I think there's supposed to be like a start of a race somewhere. But yeah, give it a whirl. See if you like it. You return back to the hub. And I think you'll find that it's got like a neat ver variety of different challenges, places to go, things to see, uh, characters to meet, quirky adventures to have, and then also definitely check out uh, Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. Especially if you're into the the whole 2D platformer type thing, I think you'll find that one really cool as well. Because, you know, it, it brings back these characters, but they do some really, really fascinating things with that one. Just in terms of, like, some of the level designs and that. It seems like they really get platformers quite well. And, and like I was saying, you know, these are characters that I'd really like to see uh, more of. I, I really would like to have more adventures with Ukulele, and it's it's been a while at this point, actually. So I'm almost a little disappointed that we haven't had more things to, you know, check out and, and more things to witness along the way because this is, uh, well, these two characters are kind of fun and quirky and, and different. Ah, I think there's like a slam down. I think of the slam down on this one and then you can get over to that area. So I take a look here. I'm trying to think of where the casino area actually is on this map in relation to everything else. Because uh, that one is just like so large and, and bigger than life, which I thought was kind of cool. Ivory Towers. Have we been showing off this one yet? I don't know yet. Um, yeah, mostly just trying to show off some additional gameplay type stuff. Oh, the bee things. Always a problem. Oh, this is the like arcade room thing with the, uh, the Dino Pal. You also have some cool friends, too. I don't know if I mentioned that quite well, but, you know, you do have actual pals and stuff, amazing retrals that you kind of come across on your journey. But that is uh, ukulele. Pretty cool.